Welcome nice to, to see you again. again. Nice to see you again. Thank you for coming. Yes, my pleasure. I saw you in the 25th anniversary of Wired magazine in San Francisco. How actually do you feel about having such an event even after 25 years of, you know, just start Wired yeah. magazine? Well, it was really the only magazine that understood that technology was a lifestyle yes. idea rather than just uh, tech hardware. I see. Um, today, of mm. course, everybody gets this idea. Yeah. It's, it's a cl cliche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it has become mainstream. Mm -hmm. It was at one time mm -hmm. a very marginal idea, subculture, mm -hmm. and now it's mm -hmm. pfft, right in the middle. I it's see. mainstream. One of the from the very first issue mm -hmm. when Lewis wrote his manifesto, mm -hmm. we believed mm -hmm. that technology mm -hmm. would become the center. Mm -hmm. I see. Because I we see. felt that that was inevitable. I see. But it is much more difficult mm. to do something innovative when you're at the center. Mm. Yeah. So That's true. we are at the center, but mm -hmm. at the same time, as I said, mm. at the same time, mm. there is always these new frontiers that are coming. Yes. Blockchain, edge. Bitcoin, mm -hmm. biotechnology. Mm. They're all they're all happening, yes. and so there still is a need mm. to also still be on the edge. I think it is really important for Wired mm. to not change one of its most essential mm -hmm. characters, mm -hmm. and that is its in belief or its embrace of optimism. Yes. Okay? That's and true. so I think if you're optimistic, mm -hmm. you can still be at the center and report on the edge. I see. I think it gets difficult if you become a pessimist, if you only see the dystopia, if you only see the things that are not working. That's totally right. Especially um, in Japan, it seems like people are really pessimistic, not believing the future is better than today. Otherwise, you know, as you said, that the innovation will come from the concrete, mm. optimistic right. perceptions. Otherwise, you know, people are just freeing from the reality. Right. Right. Actually, mm -hmm. people really getting not so many people dying anymore, right. and it's, it's just that, that right. the baby's death rate is really going down for the last three decades. Mm -hmm. and so the world is right. actually becoming really right. better. That and is still people really pessimistic. Right. So we want to do yeah. that radical optimism. Don't look at the news, mm -hmm. don't read newspapers or mm -hmm. TVs for that, but if you look at the scientific evidence, yes. it is very clear mm -hmm. that the world's getting better on average. Yes. On average. And that's because mm. of technology. That's why we often neglect about those facts and the people more like feeling. It's know, a good so. question. And it's because mm. we read news. Yes. And it's not just the fake news. That news, by definition, is only reporting on things that are unusual, things that are that's true. outliers. Yes. And the real progress mm. is totally boring. Yes. The real news is about what did not happen. I say, yes. Okay? Yeah. Mm. The, the, the people who did not die today, mm -hmm. the robberies that did not happen, mm. there's nothing you'll nothing ever hear about it. News. So all we hear about mm. are the negative things, That's by true. definition. Yeah, yeah. Even the good newspapers. Mm -hmm. And so you have to kind of ignore the news mm -hmm. if you want to be an optimist. My wife sometimes nowadays is saying, let's stop watching the news right. because it's too negative. Well, yeah, the, the worst <laughs> is news on TV. Yeah. Never, ever oh. watch news on TV. I, I, we don't have TV in our house. Oh, yes, you know. So that's maybe one of the reasons why I'm optimistic. <laughs>